Agasfara. This is my 2004 Honda S2000 AP2. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok at revo.d. Revo -D. So how I got into the car scene was basically I played a couple of racing video games like Forza and Merit Rally and all that. So before this Honda, all I had was Subarus. My first car was a Subaru WRX hatch. I bought that for like super cheap, like 6,000, flipped it for like 8,000. So all I did was flip cars, right? But it was just Subarus in general. That's all I know. And then after getting gapped by a few Hondas, I was like, man, I gotta get me a Honda and see what the hype is all about. And the S2000 caught my attention because it's just different. It's rear wheel drive. It sounds nice. And when I got this car, when I test drove it, I fell in love with the VTEC and everything like that. It feels crazy, unlike any other car. So yeah, I just love this thing. I usually keep my cars like, like for like a couple months, six months, but I had this for two years now and it's like, it's a different car. It's a, something else, man. The first major thing that I've done to this car is basically the wrap. Did it in the backyard. I had a couple of friends. Shout out to Luis, Tommy, and Charlie for helping out with the wrap. I'm gonna start off right here. First, we have a Facebook Marketplace front lift for 20 bucks. You know, everything's budget built on this thing. I'm not, I'm not balling like that. And then, if you look closely, the wrap's kind of fucked. So, nothing is perfect about this car. And to with the fitment, we got Federal, uh, what was this, 595 SS, 255, 35 18s on these uh, Ray's Gram Lights 57 DRs. Fitment specs, uh, they're for sale on, on my site. I'm just kidding. Uh, these are 18 by nine and a half, I think 38 offset. And then going to this part, we have uh, some eBay rice going on right here. We got an eBay splitter, is that what you call it? I don't know. They're just drilled up. On the back here, we got, this, it's a squared setup, 18 by 9 and a half, 38 offset. But we have Michelin Pilot Sports right here, 255, 35, 18s. Inside the car, it's pretty dirty, my bad, but I just have a Momo wheel, no quick release, and a 370Z Nismo shifter knob. Shout out to Anise. Coming back to the car, I have an offer up Dugtail. I don't know what brand this is, but I got it on offer up for like 80 bucks. Made my own third brake light. But, and then as you can see right here, it says Daikoku Days. So that's my car page, my car meet page. It's pretty up there, I guess, with the meets. So the cool thing about this exhaust is it's really not a straight pipe. I mean, it, this is basically an axle back. This exhaust is a Force Works uh, 72 millimeter exhaust. And I took off the mufflers, right? And then, but I, did, I didn't cut it off. I just bolted it off. So what I did was went to an exhaust shop and asked them to weld a flange to this pipe. So I can just put it back and forth whenever I want to. Some people weld a straight pipe, weld a pipe onto their mufflers, but I feel like this is a smarter decision. It's not permanent and it's, it's cheap. It's like 40 bucks. What I like most about my S2000, honestly, is the fitment of this car. For me, fitment is everything. So I like this. I used to be stance. I used to have a, I used to have a, a, a rim to a wheel to fender fitment, but I used to get stuck every day, like my bumpers being super low. So now I have like a meaty track setup, track stance with this fitment. And second thing I like about this car is the, the VTEC on this thing or the, the sound of this car. It sounds like nothing else. Imagine if it was turbo though. I have a homie who has a turbo S2000. That thing sounds so crazy, like boost picking up and the VTEC and all that. It, it doesn't sound like any other Honda cars. Maybe the K, it, it almost sounds like a K series, but it's just different. Third thing I like about this car is honestly the interior. Just look at it, like everything is so driver focused, driver centered. Everything is so simple. 
and it's not it's pretty comfortable I mean it's pretty comfortable too in the car the future plans that I got is you've probably seen it online on a couple of uh, people's uh, Instagram accounts but I'm gonna I bought another trunk already and I'm gonna install these Audi e-tron taillights basically goes from all the way back here to this end basically looks like a Porsche 911 the new ones and I bought another trunk to cut it up so everything's gonna look flush probably show you some pictures the Ikoku days was uh, it's pretty funny it wasn't really a car meet page it started off on my TikTok on one video that blew up it was like a uh, Huntington Beach to San Diego cruise it, it blew up on TikTok with 44,000 so we used Daikoku Days as a platform to for, uh, to make some updates on that cruise, right? But eventually it turned into a car meet page with the help of my friends, uh, Tommy and Charlie. So they're part of it as well. It's, it's not just me. But also there's another page that I'm starting. It's called Midnight Sakudo. Midnight Sakudo is basically for midnight cruises, midnight car meets, and I'm selling the merch there too. So this is the merch right here. It's a vintage graphic tee. We're selling it for like 30 bucks on midnight on the Midnight Sakoto website. And we're also selling this on Daikoku as well. So stay tuned for that. And the plan for Daikoku is just to host car meets, collab with big pages like Sauce Dance, uh, Status 7, hopefully, like just the big pages, you know. It's, it's more just for a car meet. That's about it. Nah, just do a rev. <laughs> 